Hey, what is up guys? I'm Anuj from AndroidRoots.com and today I'm going to show you how to install custom ROMs on a rooted Nexus 6. Now, of course, if your Nexus 6 is not rooted, go ahead and hit that link down below in the video description to get your Nexus 6 rooted and ready to go to install custom ROMs, kernels, all that good stuff within this method. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my file manager first and I'm going to show you the two files I had to download. So in this video, I'm going to be installing pure Shamu. So I have pure Shamu right there and make sure it is in zip format as it will not work if it's unzipped or came in a different format. All custom ROMs, when you do download it, will come in zip format. All you have to do is just download it and put it on your phone. And also I have a file called PAGApps. So GApps is all the applications I'll need for Google Apps like Gmail, Hangouts, Google Play Store, all that stuff is GApps. Now majority of ROMs will require you to download the custom ROM and also G apps because if you don't have G apps, you won't be able to have the Play Store or Google Hangouts or Gmail as those applications will not be installed, which is unfortunate. So make sure you read the directions from wherever you got the source from to make sure that you need to download G apps or if you don't have to download G apps and you just have to download the custom ROM. Um, so make sure G apps and the custom ROM are both in zip format. They should come in zip format just by themselves when you do download it. Um, you can go and download it directly to your uh, phone or you can download it to your com computer first and then transfer to your phone. That's your opinion, your um, freedom to do whatever you want. I personally prefer to download it directly to my phone. It's more convenient, but you can do whatever you choose. So as you can see, I have my custom RAM called Pure Shamu and my GApps um, right there from my Google Play Store and all that stuff. So And they're both in zip format as I want to specify so no one screws up as this is a beginner tutorial. So we have both of those installed, and like I said earlier, we have where our, our Nexus 6 is rooted. So in this video, I'm using TWP recovery to install the ROM, but you can go ahead and use Clockmod recovery too. Steps are very similar. So we're gonna go ahead and enter into recovery mode now. So go ahead and hold on the power button and power off your phone and give it a few seconds. Now we're gonna go ahead and press the power button and volume down button. Press and hold them until you see a green start screen, just like this one. Now press the volume down until you see recovery mode. Okay, recovery mode, now press the power button. And this is gonna enter me into TWP recovery mode, but this can also enter you into clock or my recovery mode, depending on which recovery you have installed. If you use my root method, you will have team one recovery installed, which I personally recommend over clock or my recovery. Uh, team one recovery is, gives you much more options. They're more up to date, uh, they release faster and they're more stable. Overall, I pers personally prefer them. Um, so first thing we're gonna be doing, it's an optional step, but I highly, highly recommend you guys do this step, is called an Android backup right here. So we're gonna select backup, and this is gonna backup our system, our data, and our boot. Um, you do not have to select cache, recovery, or EFS. You can leave those unchecked. And we're gonna go ahead and swipe to backup. This backup will back up literally everything, your music, your movies, your pictures, your application, your home screen layout, your widgets, your account backup, your passwords, anything that was originally on your phone before you installed the new custom RAM will back it up. So this backup will be a large file depending on how many applications and files you have on your phone, but I highly recommend it as if something goes wrong during the custom RAM installation you can always go and restore this backup so you do not have to restart your phone and you can always restore your phone with all the original files you originally had uh, which will save you a lot of time, a lot of headache and you will not lose any files which is really important to me and I'm sure it's important to you. Okay so it looks like it's just about done so we'll give it a few more seconds and as you can see successful Backup complete, successful, so that means our backup is good to go. It created a whole backup, and if you wanna go and restore it, you can just go and tap on restore, and it will be right there. Now, I do recommend you, you reboot your phone right now. You can tap on reboot and system, and you can go ahead and find that backup file on your phone and transfer that backup file to an external place, like your computer or the cloud, so just in case something, if everything deletes off your phone some for some reason, you have a backup of your backup that you can restore later on right here. So I highly recommend this. This is called an Android backup. If you are wondering what it's called and you, if you wanna find more information about it, it's called an Android backup. Now we're gonna go ahead and go into our installation process. So we're gonna wipe our phone. So tap on wipe and slide. And this will do a factory reset. And now we're gonna go and tap on back. We're gonna go on home. 
tap on install. Go and find the two files that you downloaded or one file depending on the instructions of the source you got it from. So here's Pure Shamu. I'm going to tap on it. And now I'm going to go ahead and select GEPS. So I'm going to go and add more zips. And I'm going to go ahead and select GEPS right here. And now I can go and slide my finger to confirm installation. And this will install my Pure Shamu custom ROM. And also on top of that, it will install GEPS like the Play Store, Gmail, Hangouts, all the necessary files I need to actually make my phone useful. So I'll be back once it is done installing. Okay, so it is done installing. It only took about two minutes, less than two minutes. And as you can see, it does say successful. Now you can go ahead and select reboot system and our phone will automatically reboot into the normal Android stage where we're gonna have our custom ROM booting up. So if everything did go as planned, we should see uh, pure Shamu. The boot animation might be the same, which it is, but that doesn't mean it did not install. We're gonna give it a few minutes to fully boot up. And since we just did it, we just wiped our phone and installed the whole new OS, this boot up will take up to five minutes, so be patient. Okay, so I was stuck on the boot animation for about seven to eight minutes, so it could take up to at least 10 minutes to fully boot up, so don't get worried, just be patient. So you can go and set up your phone now with all the Wi-Fi and all that. I'm gonna go and skip through all this and show you that we are actually on a new custom ROM. Okay, so by the looks of it, it looks pretty much the same, but if we go into settings, we should see some new changes to it. Um, so everything looks pretty much the same. We can go ahead and go to about phone. Oh, and as you can see right there, we have a new options right there. So pure settings right there. Um, so we have a whole bunch of new options. Uh, we can go and change the navigation bar height. We can even hide it as you can see. So this is the power of custom ROMs. And we can also go ahead and confirm that we're in a custom ROM by going into about phone. And then usually it does say it. Um, actually it doesn't. So it has kernel version and baseband version. Uh, but it actually doesn't say pure Shamu anywhere really. Um, so it sometimes does, it sometimes doesn't for custom ROMs depending on what the developer chooses to do. Uh, but as you can see, we do have pure, uh, pure settings from pure Shamu, of course. And as you can see, we have all these options, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we have any new applications uh, that could hint at a custom ROM. And no, we don't. So that's probably the only place where we're gonna be modifying our device. And you can also see we have a recent option right there to clear it all at the same time. So that is how you install custom ROMs on the Nexus 6, on a rooted Nexus 6. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like this video in the bottom corner as I really do appreciate that. Until next time, peace.